fine as any engine is after a crash, Donald. Eh, uh, I see. Are the workmen taking good care of you? That's their job, Donald. Right, I know, I know. So, what exactly did you see last night? I was just puffing along my branch line like nothing was happening, and then all of a sudden, this mist rolled in, and I couldn't see, and by the time it cleared up, Hannah's car was right in front of me on the level crossing. I couldn't stop in time. Well, by all accounts then, you weren't the only one to experience this. The rest of the island said the exact same thing. Don't worry, Thomas, we'll get to the bottom of this. This was an island-wide thing. Yes! Oh, Thomas, are you okay? You engines have got to stop asking me that. Obviously, I'm not fine. What's going to happen when the fat controller finds out about this? When he finds out, they should sue him. That level crossing never had any gates, and what was Hannah doing out so late at night? Coupled with the fog? Well, it's nice that you guys care so much. The workmen said I won't be on my wheels for the next week, so have fun. Thomas, from here on out, everything is okay. Just trust me on this. You'll be fine. And it was possibly the second scariest thing I've ever seen. And poor Thomas, who knows how he's doing right now? Literally nobody knows how he's doing. You know why? Because he's probably dead. Come now, James. It's hardly appropriate to make such assumptions about your colleagues. Thomas isn't dead. Don't come for me when you are making jokes, Henry. Didn't you say that Thomas sent Hannah's car in one direction? But that's different. I was just trying to lighten the mood. You were bawling your eyes out, and Gordon, he oh. was none yet making jokes now. No. Good. Because this be serious, it's like someone opened a portal to the island of Sodo and we paid the price for it. How can we pay the price for something that we don't even know happened yet? That portal idea isn't too bad. You know what? It was probably Timothy the Ghost Engine. Have you two been reading them creepy pastas again? Yes, we have. So what? Okay, well done, because those are hardly even true. They are, James. Your smoke box just can't handle all that information. Do you think it's linked to the treasure? If it is... Then we're in trouble. I overheard Edward and Toby talking this morning, and that treasure doesn't sound as innocent as it looks. Treasure's almost always dangerous, Doc. Like, it's freaking treasure. It was buried by pirates millions of years ago. Of course it's gonna be dangerous. There's no need to bring an engine down, James. I was just stating some facts. And I was stating mine. Engines, we can't turn on each other now. Not when we have this threat to the island. Something's going down. I can feel it. But I just can't put my funnel on it. Of course you can't put your funnel on it, Percy. You can't move it. Yo, shut up, gang. I'm worried, Edward. You remember the last time the treasure was opened? Yes, I do. And the last time it was opened, she never came back to us. She disappeared along with everything that we once thought and loved. This is interesting, it really is, but why are we all in the same siding? Settlement had called. He said that until there's no more signs of any fog to come around the island, we all must stay where we are. Oh, okay then. Edward, what were you talking about? Who's she? She, Gordon, she was one of a kind. She was truly of unique design and class. She could turn the world on its backside and still we'd feel at peace she was more powerful than you could ever be edward you don't get to make jokes like that it's true gordon she really was so what are we talking about well if you must know i'm being utterly blasphemed no other engine could possibly be stronger than me edward it was only a matter of time gordon trust me Oh, Gordon, she was far more powerful than you will ever be. She could change the universe in the blink of an eye. Edward, this is really interesting, but I asked who she was, not what she did. Who was she? Well, she... Hello, hello, hello. Public service announcement from the controller. Due 
to no signs of any incoming storms or even any incoming fog at this time, all engines are free to proceed as they like. Well, Gordon, I guess you're gonna have to wait. You have work to do now. Two right, chaps. I have an express to pull now. Howdy ho, good luck. Toot toot, all of that. Come now, Mavis. It must be somewhere. We have to keep looking. And I don't suppose you two are helping out? Oh, Percy. Of course we're not helping out. We have bigger fish to fry right now. If by fish you mean treasure, the treasure's gone, Diesel. It's not gone, Percy. Someone just has what should be mine, and I intend to get it back. Thomas was in an accident. He's hurt. And you only care about yourself? When have I not cared about myself? Ugh. Bye, Diesel. Good luck, Mavis. That insolent little tank engine. Who's there? Hello. Are you hearing things again? Oh, <laughs> no. I heard something this time. I'm still not sure what it is. Come along, Mavis. We better get back to work. Right behind you. Truro, I need to ask you something. Well, really, it's more of a favor for Thomas. Thomas wants to get out of the steamworks, like right now, and I wanted to know if you could do that for him. You have all these things to help us with, and I just figured that- ah! uh, 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 Are you okay, Truro? I'll come back later, when you don't look so awkward. Why? It's him, Edward. He just threw me to the ground. Excellent work, Doc. I'll go tell the others then. If he has powers, could he make my face less chubby then? Could he what? It's just a suggestion. Nothing too permanent yet. James, you know? It's really dope when you think about it. An engine with superpowers. How cool is that? I pulled the express and you don't think I'm cool. Yeah, but you don't use powers to pull the express. That's just natural strength, Donald. Keep up. James, I don't think you understand. Truro hasn't exactly hurt anyone yet. I mean, granted, Thomas is in the steamworks. But I didn't even like him, so that's a given. If he hurts anyone else, then fine, we'll do something. But for right now, he seems to be keeping on the down low with it. But if we don't do something now... He Edward, based on what I heard, he only threw Duck to the ground because Duck provoked him. If we don't provoke him, we won't get engine slammed. Stop, cause why did I low key agree with Diesel? Damn, Edward. You, you suck at warning people about stuff, like... Dang, that's why you weren't imagining Edward really. talk. They won't listen, but I will. I feel like Truro is planning something. I don't know what it is, but I can feel it. Oh, bother. This is quite the situation now, isn't it? Doc's right down the line, Toby. We can phone him and we can ask for help. Do hurry, driver. I have to make this delivery in five minutes, and if I don't... I am so sorry this happened to you, Toby. You'll be alright. Doc's gonna take you to the steamworks and everything will be okay. And you don't know what happened? Like, at all? No. All I remember is me chugging down the line, and I woke up. I'll be back, Percy. Do be safe. Now, what's the meaning of all this, Edward? Thomas and Toby are already in the steamworks. Now, if the Fat Controller finds out that we're all meeting like this, he will absolutely scrap us all one by one until none of us are left to even do anything about it. Well, you're lucky he won't find out. Now go over there, Diesel. Ah! He just told you to shut up! 
Now that we're all here, I would like to finally explain the treasure and the history and consequences that come with said treasure. The treasure isn't just riches and power and fame. It comes with a great power. And as you all know, with great power comes great responsibility. Upon opening the treasure, you receive four specific powers. Power number one, the power of the dockyard diesel. The power of the manipulation of weather. Power number two, the power to become the speed of light. That, my dear engines, is Spencer. Power number three, the power to become as strong as they get. The power of the diesel with the claw. Upon further inspection, however, one more power was discovered. One that could either make or break the universe as we know it. She was the one to originally bestow the powers onto Salty, Spencer and Diesel 10. She kept some for herself, and she in turn kept the universe in balance. Edward, who's she? <laughs> she is... Oh, hello Bertie. What brings you here? I have a surprise for each and every one of you. Close your eyes. No! Okay. Hello, everyone. You're okay. Wait. So that means Thomas didn't even hit you that hard. James. What? Oh, James. All I really had was some cuts and bruises. I was fine. The doctor just wanted to keep me for observation. It's wonderful to see you again, my lady. Likewise, Edward. I'm glad I'm okay. So it now, you mean to tell me that Salty, Spencer, and that one Diesel were like superheroes? I wouldn't say they were superheroes, especially Diesel 10. He was not a superhero. I'd just say that they were like mad powerful, you know? Oh, Henry, you're on crack, aren't you? Josh, like, he body slammed you. And you're okay. I mean, I'm glad you're okay. But if you're okay, then how is Thomas not okay then? Ha! <laughs> Henry, of course Diesel 10 wasn't a hero. He's anything but a hero. Percy, who's Diesel 10? I almost cried for no, you. No, you did not. Shh. Oh. And you're just okay like that? Oh, do calm down, everyone. I'm sure all will be explained later. But for right now, I can't explain anymore. We each have jobs to do. So I suggest we go and do them. Bertie, make sure Hannah gets home safely. We'll do. Hop on board, Hannah. What's going on, Edward? Why did you all call us for that big meeting to tell us all of that information? It's important for all of you to know this information. If Trigger gets more powerful, and he will, we need to ensure that we are ready for whatever he has up his funnel and be prepared for an attack. It doesn't just concern me and you, Gordon. The entire island is at stake, and with Thomas and Toby in the works, it is more important that we ready ourselves for an attack. I see. We are right beside you, Edward. In any instance, we back you and only you. Thank you, Gordon. That means a lot. That's true, right? Um, I would believe so, yes. Poor Harold. He looks like he's struggling up there, poor chap. Ha. Huh. Gordon, I think I know how we can defeat Truro. Huh. Say the word, my dear chap. We're in this together. What do, what do I have to do? Follow me. Hmm, oh, oh. well, that's not creepy at all, Edward, I can promise you that. Oh, I say, let me go, dear chap. You've had your fun, now please, let me go. <laughs> no one is safe, Thomas. I do know that much, Toby. I almost totaled Sir Toby Hatt's car after all.
Toby, are we really going to be okay? Thomas, stop doubting. Everything will be okay. I can promise you nothing bad will happen from here on out. Oh. Uh, oh my. Toby, oh, are you okay? I think so. Do you smell that? It smells like fumes and old diesel fuel. You know, I wasted my tears on both Hannah Hat and Thomas. And now Hannah just gets out like she's okay. James, let it go. Or maybe Hannah doesn't even know where she is. She did get hit after all. James, it's been a long day for a lot of us. Let's just close our eyes and get some sleep and maybe you can relax. Uh, I guess you're right, Edward. I am feeling a little tired after all. Trust me when I say this, James. All of us are tired. Oh, well, that's not really my problem now, is it? Oh, I would now. We need help. We need help. The, the steamworks, it it exploded. It's it's burning to the ground. It, it's burning and, and, and there's fire everywhere. And, and the firemen ran out of water. We need help. Thomas. Toby. Shrewo. No one's safe, Thomas. I think I know that, Edward, I was the first one to get in an accident after all. I'm confused now. Spencer is trapped in a vine. Two right chaps. Oh, don't come for me, Henry. What? Where the? 